hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is shayan and this is my channel life with shayan where i talk about everything faith and lifestyle today i want to bring to you a video that i've had on my heart for a while now i would dare say god put it there and seeing that i want to share um part of my life with you as much as possible this was a major part of my life and i thought why don't i give some tips on you know how to navigate this thing and that is long distance relationships i want to give five or it could be six tips today of how to navigate a long distance relationship so if you are interested in seeing that continue watching Alright guys, so I am back <laughs> and I'm here to talk about how to navigate a long distance relationship. If you see me look down, I have my notes here because I want to stay on track. I don't want the video to be long and I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over again. Alright, All right, so I want to talk about how to navigate long distance relationships. Uh, this is a topic that I am very well versed in because as you know this year my husband and I have been together over six years now and it was just last year May that we started living together in the same house um, I was in Jamaica he was in New Jersey at the time and we used to just travel back and forth Thankfully, I was in teacher's college, so I used to get the holidays and then when I actually became a teacher, I also got the holidays. So that provided for a lot of traveling and a lot of spending time together. However, uh, we had the resources to travel, thank God. Um, we had very supportive parents, etc. Um, but it was still very hard. I uh, I used to cry so much like I remember the first time he came to Jamaica and left I was in my bed the whole day. I if my roommate at the time is watching this she can attest it I was in my bed the whole day after I could not get myself out of it I missed him so much it was so hard when he I used to come up here and he used to carry me to the airport I used to cry so so I used to literally cry on the plane. I used to normally fly out of JFK to Kingston and I used to cry on the plane from JFK to Kingston at bawling, distraught. I was so uh, depressed when we got married and he had to come back. Like, I was so sad. I was so sad. But thanks be to God, me and the man live together now, right? And that's why I want to talk to you about that. Because I want, if you have a long distance relationship, I want you to persist in it. Because it might be long for a while, but it is not going to be forever. See, me and him live together now. Um, I'm gonna work, right? I'm soon come back. And uh, I, I, I love this for us now, but what it took for us to get here was a lot of work, was a lot of intentionality. It really was like a lot of work. So many times I would say that it worked for us too. As I said, we had the resources to see each other and stuff. Um, I had the time uh as well we had very supportive parents and and friends and family and so we're able to navigate that but if i was to come back so i'm going to pretend so somebody asked me a question and say shine give me some tips on how to navigate a long distance relationship those are the tips i want to share with you today so yes so the first tip on how to navigate a long distance relationship is you have to talk every day. Robert and I have been together since May 16, 2016. We're very sentimental. And uh, there has not been a day where I have not spoken to him. Every single day we talked. When we were not um, together in the same physical location, we make sure so we talk on the phone every single day. Now, um, what if, say, for example, why is this important? Because 
you have to that's what you use to keep your relationship going if you're not talking if you're not connecting if you're not checking in with each other what is going to build the relationship because you're not seeing each other i remember in the first year when i started dating robert in 2016 we started dating in may and i saw him one time for that year and that was in november of that year i didn't see him again until the following year april sometimes we used to see each other two or three times for the year so if you're not talking on the phone what is going to sustain the relationship you have to be talking on the phone now let's not be dumb like everything is hunky-dory and we're all however no matter the argument if it is even just to say i'm not talking to you today but have you eaten are you okay how was work did you get to work okay how are you feeling etc even if it was just to say that for a 30 seconds we made sure that we were we spoke with each other every day we heard each other's voice every day also you want to keep those relationship those arguments to a minimum right you're in a long distance relationship long distance relationship can't manage necessarily the weight of a relationship that is not long distance so we as much as possible you're gonna have arguments you're two different people you're in a relationship but you want to keep that to a minimum you can't spend the whole of the relationship cussing like you're together for the year and eight eight out of 12 months you're cussing all the time you cannot you're gonna have disagreements you're gonna have um you're gonna have moments where you need to give each other space and stuff but as i said two two days three days five days not hearing from each other no it not it's not sustainable it is not gonna last and up to this day sometimes now when robert and i live together we on the phone all two hours for the day him soon called me and tell me what happened because it's a habit that we have built up of always like being on the phone so we do um still talk a lot and it has translated into us being in the same physical space now we have never gone a full day without talking like why I love you we need to talk let's talk <laughs> all right so the second point is you have to know when you're gonna see each other you can't be in a long distance relationship indefinitely you don't know when you're gonna see each other <laughs> on a back seven minutes and not talk no it, no it's not going to work and that was one thing that caused our relationship to thrive now it's april i'm gonna see you in june when i come in june i stay until august i'm gonna see you again in december and no matter what you keep that date you keep that the world at end may have for guffering when i realized that the pandemic was coming i'm gonna shut down the place mm -mm, i have to go i have to go because me not mm -mm, if the world is gonna enter go end with the two of us by each other side so you have to know when you're going to see each other i remember one time robert was supposed to come like the friday and he wasn't able to come until like the monday or the tuesday and we spoke about it worked around it and work around our next time but it wasn't just oh babes my camera that come friday and me know him gonna see again no no and it shouldn't be because if you love the boy and the boy love you you not always want to see each other you always want to be in each other's space and one thing that I love about long distance relationship, it the, the, the like like the, the chemistry, the passion, the build up of it, like oh my gosh, like I like just seeing the person I remember I used to literally hold my breath to see him walk out at the airport. I still feel that way about him right but just to say when i never see him for months and i see him come with the suitcase with the things them for me right i used to see him because like oh my gosh i missed you and yes so like yeah in, i need to know when next i'm gonna hold in my arms baby i need to know when next i'm gonna see you uh if the world yeah we have to see each other time to go see my husband yes um when you see each other you have to spend quality time with each other the real stuff the real stuff and by the way on the no say we were christians always christians and we didn't have sex until we were married so when we see each other now 
um we're not having sex and for people who think that sex has to be the thing that maintains a long distance relationship that is not true because we, we really got to know each other we did a lot of stuff went all got dinner spent time like we we did we went to went to different places around the island when i came up here we did a lot of stuff like a lot of things that i did for the first time robert um carried me to do those things stuff like that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do in jamaica like for example probably like bowling or like um going to an amusement park like stuff like that i think i went to the movies for the first time here stuff like that so like him, him go yeah yeah you have to spend quality time together you can't just um you know my thing is wait until you're married for have sex but even if you decide say that's not your journey and you're doing what you're doing that can that's not sustainable you have to do real stuff you have to do real stuff and then another thing is that you have to take a lot of pictures as well because when i have probably two thousand like apple make money off of me right through because you make a pay for the storage because my little picture of 2016 when i was in the waterfalls with robert at don't i'm never deleting that never that is forever so i have a lot of pictures i have i have pictures like over the years he has a lot of photos of me i have a lot of photos of him because why not you have to take a lot of pictures but you can't take a lot of pictures if you're just at home watching tv you have to take um you have to take a lot of pictures you have to go out you have to do fun things i remember we got to concerts with we, we we have the, me and robert allen we're gonna have a good time we're gonna have a good time and me i'm not a homebody i am not right now no i have to we have to go somewhere baby take me out and uh, spend that quality 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 time together yes if you're in a long distance relationship make sure that you have other connections other than your spouse because i remember like now going forward stuff like my birthday our birthdays anniversary stuff like that we're gonna spend it together but i remember one year um he was not able to come for my birthday and i wasn't i didn't miss him terribly always miss him but i was able to navigate that because i had my friends so we're still able to like you know get me a cake sing me happy birthday they told me how much i love them and they're wonderful wonderful friend and i had a good time and i remember as i was cutting the cake um i was able to video call him and he was there and you know just to celebrate my birthday with me but it's very important for her friends you cannot be in a relationship with your spouse alone full stop and definitely not when you're in a long distance relationship you have to have people around you to spend time with and so even though i have um I so during all of that time I had I have thriving friendships I have really good friendships because I maintain that right when he was away abroad I didn't just sulk in our city by myself and woe is me and wait until Robert come back and whatever no I have my friends I miss you have a good time and he did things too with when with his friends here in the states so you have to have other friends you have to have other friends um so take a lot of pictures etc you have to make i think i'm gonna go over five <laughs> you have to make an effort you have to make an effort i hear why you have to make an effort you have to make an effort because when you're in a long distance relationship you have to get creative i remember 20 it was 20 19 valentine's day i think the boy never did enough for me because what you mean you know i do nothing for me because I, I don't know if i expected him to come to jamaica or something i don't know but like what you mean and i remember me get so mad at him because me like you know do not for me and i remember I was standing outside on college at the that, that big tree when you're coming up from the hall and Robert sent money to Gervanese. Gervanese is my best friend. You can check out her channel at Genuine Things. 
and um he sent money to Gary Vanese so buy me a gift and I get sentimental thinking about it. I was so moved. I remember one time it makes somebody get a bouquet of flowers for me, like just because, like it was a because it was a Tuesday and him loved the dolly. So, um, it, the effort, whatever. I remember one time I wanted to get him a gift, and at the time I was I never done anything but like credit card buying stuff online and stuff, and I had to ask his brother forget it for me, forget it for him as a birthday gift, etc. So you have to get creative. You can't just say, "Oh, you're over there, so and me over here, so and uh, it is what it is." No. You have to get creative. It's the world of Amazon. It's the world of online. Send him something. Send him something. Watch a watch a movie together online. Whatever. Have a virtual date and stuff. And kind of really invite each other in each each other in each other's world. When I came up here, I remember one time he used to work at this furniture store at the time, and him, and everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, I've heard so much." Of yeah, I mean, man. <laughs> like, yeah, and then if you know me, if you don't know Robert, you don't know me. Because that's the love of my life, and I'm going to talk about him. Like, there's nobody who know me, who go school with me, or anything, who don't know Robert. Like, when him used to, like, him up to now, it's a funny thing, him, like, which one? Like, if I told him, like, this person was at Chartered, he's like, who? Because I've met so many persons. Because everybody's like, oh, like, oh, I remember one time he came on campus. <laughs> and I was doing something and he said he was hungry so I told him to go to the commissary to get something to eat and he told me he went to the commissary and people were like are you Robert are you <laughs> cuz no you have to invite each other into each other's world yes final one if you're married has me not encouraged nobody for sin and if you're sinning and if you repent <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Anyways, if you're married and you're in a long distance marriage, when you see each other, have the sex. Have all of the sex. <laughs> no, you have to. You have if you to know that you are in a long distance relationship, in a long distance marriage, um, and you're gonna see each other, you have to carve out a time for have quality sex with each other you have to because it really strengthens the relationship and it really strengthens the bond right we don't see each other for months right we are we're robert is 25 you might look old but he's 25 isn't it? you think i'm going at this you know he's a young man he has needs so i'm sorry miss perlene but Me fair up the video now. Me fair up the video now. But yeah, you have to you have to have the sex and spend the time together and do the things them so that when him gone, remember you. <laughs> Guys, those are all the tips I have to come feel like me to start setting them in office now. So I'm gonna go. I want to thank you so much for the engagement on my last video. I'm glad you enjoyed the video so much. I hope that you'll enjoy this video as well. And my hope is for just keep giving the videos where I enjoy making and you enjoy watching. Thank you so much. Please to follow me on our socials. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok at Shioni. My husband, if you are in the South Florida area and you are you need like furniture to be put together um robert does that so you can check out his business page i'm gonna put it right there at rob the builder right his business is rob the builder renovations llc right so you can reach out to him and it may make your house look nice and uh, what else i'm trying to get to 300 subscribers by the end of summer so please guys not only watch the video but like the video share the video leave a comment to let me know you are here and subscribe thank you so much for watching thank you so much for rocking with me thank you for love me my love on the right back and i will see you in the next video bye